more! What's up guys, Movie Man Mark here, and welcome to episode 4 of the Mad Yeah Movie Show. Another week in the world of movies, let's find out what's going on. The Toronto International Film Festival is about to be wrapped up. One of the movies that premiered last week at the festival, The Blair Witch, or just Blair Witch. It's not The Blair Witch. It's not a project either. But the original is The Blair Witch Project, and that movie a lot of people went crazy over because they thought it was real. So will it live up to the hype? I don't think so, because it's getting 38% on Rotten Tomatoes. Next is Snowed In. And I said that as in snowed in, but no, it's Snowden, as in Edward Snowden. He's the guy who leaked a bunch of NSA files, privacy being exploited. It's some scary stuff. Dose of Gordon Levitt stars, his face is pretty much the poster in all the advertising material. Shailene Woodley is also in this movie. And uh, guys, I met Shailene Woodley. It was the most embarrassing moment of my life. And I know what you're thinking. Did you get it on video? Oh, <laughs> you bet I did. That's the reason it was embarrassing. I'm not gonna spoil it. It's coming up soon. Snowden is getting 56% on Rotten Tomatoes. Wow, two bad movies from the film festival. A movie that didn't premiere at the film festival, Bridget Jones's Baby. It looks terrible. <laughs> it's getting 77% on Rotten Tomatoes. How? The one that doesn't premiere at the highly esteemed film festival looks terrible. I'm just judging by the posters and the bus stop ads. Is getting that high of a rating. I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. Can't judge a movie by its bus stop ad. Trailer of the week, Moana, the third trailer. It's being called the official trailer. That's what Disney does when it's their final trailer. And this is all you really need to see. The animation is still great. The jokes are there. They're, they're decent, but they're there. And the music, love it. Who we we are explorers of the people, something, something, sun. News of the week, 20th Century Fox, who makes some movies based on Marvel comic books. You know, they did Deadpool, they did X-Men, they did Fantastic Four. They bought the rights to Stan Lee's life. I didn't think you could buy the rights to someone's life, unless we're talking about slavery. Instead of doing a biopic, a movie about his real life, they're uh, fantasizing it a little bit, Hollywoodizing it. They're making him a secret agent. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds kind of similar to when Sony Pictures won the uh, burp. They wanted to do an Aunt May movie about Aunt May being a spy. Sony's probably not doing that anymore. I know they still want to do a Venom movie that's not connected to the Spider-Man in Civil War. Probably a different actor playing Spider-Man. Uh, I would audition, but I think they're going for an older guy, probably. Uh, and I wouldn't even know how to audition. Uh, <laughs> 20th Century Fox, this is your opportunity. You're making a spy movie about Stan Lee. Now's your chance, while you're at it, to buy the rights to Aunt May's life even though she's a fictional character, and team up Stanley and Aunt May, a super secret agent spy movie! Beep, beep, beep. All right, I got to choose who to cast as Stanley. Uh, Bradley Cooper, that's just the first name that came to my head. And Aunt May, this Aunt May is not related to the one in Civil War, so I, I think since they keep getting a younger and younger Aunt May, I think by now you gotta get like Selena Gomez. So Bradley Cooper and Selena Gomez playing Stanley and Aunt May. Billion dollars. Question of the week. Mark, why do you look like Peter Parker? Because I try. Um, as you can tell, I'm running low on questions. So leave me a bunch of questions, and I'll choose one in the next week's Mega Movie Show. Some crazy stuff coming soon. Remember the vlogs from Tiff with Shailene Woodley and uh, some movie reviews. I'm Mega Cool, and now you are too, man. You just so are.